cut your hair long for the first time in how many years? Oh, 15 years. 15 years, yeah. And uh, your daughter has never seen you without a rash. Yeah, she, was, she was a little she girl. Was yeah, she was a little girl when... Uh, when I uh, started growing my hair out, and so she's really only ever had, had had only known me as you know long hair. Without giving too much away, what are we getting done today? Uh, getting rid of this thing. Uh, this facial hair is driving me crazy. I thought it would be cool, like you know, grow out a really big, bushy, masculine beard, <laughs> and uh, it's turning out to be a lot of work trying to keep it looking nice as it gets longer and longer. So. Uh, and I'm just way too lazy for, for that. So I'm just going to go with clean skin. Ooh, okay, cool. Well, on that note, let's go. All right. Um, so I heard there might be a wedding coming up? Yeah, my uh, my daughter is uh, going to get married in the spring. Okay, uh, so this is not a haircut for that. No, no, not yet. This not is just yet. more of a holiday cleanup. This is yeah, because uh, a year ago when I had the long hair, yeah. I came in and I said cut it all off. That's right. And I had a holiday party I was going to, and I will be going to that same holiday party again uh, this year, and I'm going to come in with no hair on my face. So we're chopping off all the beard. Yep. Down to baby butt smooth. Yeah, nice and smooth. All righty. And then just a little cleanup around the edges on the hair. Cause... Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I want to grow the hair back. Uh, yeah. So this, the back needs to catch up with the, the top. Okay. But I'm thinking like for like here, just taking some of the weight off. Easy peasy. Uh, clean up and, around the edges then, a little bit. And just then make clean it... up around the ears because you can see I got those yeah. wings starting to go off. So with my hair, I, I do like two different styles where I've got, you know, coming down like that. Uh, but then also I, I'll bring it back and, and up. Yeah, it sweeps, uh, it sweeps yeah. back really nicely. Yeah. yeah. That's the, uh, the sea salt spray. Your hair is, uh, is the perfect kind of hair for that type of product. Thick, but it's very, very soft and fine. So uh, you can get quite a bit of volume. Yeah, because otherwise my hair would just lay 100% flat. Really? Without it, yeah. So thinking about growing it out again, what is, um, what's the motivation there? Uh, you know, um, I think I look like too much of a nerd uh, with short hair, so. <laughs> you know what, that's. <laughs> it's a good thing though. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, yeah, one of the, uh, a company that I'm involved in right now is, uh, doing AI consulting and it's um, it's a world that I know almost nothing about so I've been studying it heavily and I, I guess if I looked like a nerd in that world it'd be okay it's the only reason they hired you <laughs> yeah yeah well yeah well it's more that I, I invested in the company ah, so you bullied yeah. your way in <laughs> yeah, yeah and I'm a, a nerd yeah. <laughs> so when you say that you're growing the hair out again what what type of length are we thinking? Uh, back down to the shoulders again. But it's going to take a while to get there. Yeah, um, am I the one that cut your hair last? Yeah. So, did a great job. Huh? I, uh, yeah, I'm just checking to see the evenness of it. And as I pull the comb out and then just kind of stretch out those strands, I'm looking for a nice, even. Was about to say, oh, who cut your hair last? Yeah. Yeah, this, this looks like <laughs> shit. Oh, <it's> like, <laughs> no, I was uh, just coming through it to make sure um, as it's growing out, see if there's any areas where it's a little heavier than others. As people grow their hair out, um, you know, you're growing from a haircut that has a little bit of a, a, a tad bit of a different structure. Uh -huh. So you want to consider that as the hair grows out, because a lot of guys will not cut their hair ever again until they get the, le right. the long length. And sometimes there's these little corners and bulky areas that get addressed on that first haircut back. Um, but you can kind of take care of those things and adjust them in between so that you're not having such a hard time growing out your hair. So like these little corners right here, something that we might consider just softening up ever so slightly. So as the hair does grow out, it's a, just a nice even flow. But 
the trick to growing out long hair is to not cut it and just right. grow it. So yep. yeah, trying to be conscientious of that too is, is really important. But um, yeah, <laughs> these, little, these little wings right here, there's a couple of them that we can totally address and other ones that we want to let just hang out enough so they can get past that hump and, uh, and get the length that they need so they don't start to, to wing up like that anymore. Yeah, I was thinking just essentially letting the back catch up with everything be, uh, and not have to worry too much about like the length on the sides and, and top yet because okay. I've got a long way to go back there. It's, it's, it's coming along. You're, you're getting there. I think Eric, he does it right. He grows the back first and then lets the dog catch up. Yeah, that's, it's uh, usually because, yeah, because you, when we're cutting, cutting hair, typically we're leaving a lot of length up yeah. here and then fade out the back, right. keep it really tapered. So you're absolutely right. As you're, as you're going through that process, it starts to, um, to show how, how much of a difference in lengths there are. So like I said, we'll just clean up some of these edges, soften it up ever so slightly. And... and the beard, man. So the uh, shaving it down. Yeah, so it's turned out to be a lot of work. You know, I thought I'd look really cool with the big bushy beard and, and it's just way too much work for me. Uh, over the last couple of years, lost all the color in my beard. So like it's just all gray. And so then I dyed it Yeah. and I don't like that either. So, and, but I, I looked, I looked ancient and uh, with, with a full gray beard, I didn't like that at all. So, but I don't like the, the coloring either. So. With all that work and effort, I just decided it'd be best to, you know, just run a run a razor over it every day, which that doesn't sound very appealing either. And maybe get like laser, you know, just like make sure it never comes back. <laughs> yeah. You do grow a beard, man. So yeah, letting it hang out doesn't need to be the only way. How do you feel about long beards? Like when you have your long beard, you just chopped yours off recently. What do I, how do I feel? I yeah. mean, I always say I'm going to grow it long, and do you know what happens? That's, That's what happened the other day, I just went, oh. Ah, seriously, I was, like, growing it long, but I don't know. I just get itchy, I want to get, see my face. Yeah, so, it's, uh, it's, it's it's effort. But not clean shaven. I, I never go clean shaven. It's just one thing I did once, and that's it. <laughs> But yeah, man, um, I like a good beard, but I just don't have the patience to grow along anymore. Maybe one day I will, still go for it. But it gets to here, and I just, I just don't, don't, don't enjoy it as much as I used to back in the day. I have too much gray now. Yeah. In black. Yeah, for a long time I had this weird little skunk look going on on my chin. It was gray right here, everything else was brown, and a stripe of brown right in the center, and it was just gray right there, and which I thought looked pretty cool, it was a, pretty unique. Yeah. Uh, but then, then that gray just started spreading up my face really fast. As pale as I am, uh, Carlos set white balance off my forehead. So. <laughs> um, you sound like you know a little bit about cameras as well. Do you do any uh, shooting? Uh, I did for a long time. I had a YouTube channel of my own that, uh, that I used to film for, and, and I need to get back to. There's a lot of stuff that I'd like to get back to teaching, uh, but I just haven't made the time to sit down and record because YouTube's such a, a tricky platform. You, you really have to put in a Tell lot of, a lot of effort. Oh yeah. We yeah. are, we are experiencing that full force these days, yeah. you know? Cause like what's hot and, and, and working and getting views, it, it changes over time. And so you really just have to keep, uh, keep at perfecting the game. And, and, that's, and that just takes so much time to do a really good job that I just have not put, put in that time anymore. 
because I, there's other, you know, I've got like a thousand things that I like to do, so. Yeah, you just said that you are helping out this new AI company yeah. or. You gotta know you got other businesses, uh, other obligations. Adding uh, adding YouTube to the to the mix, especially like you said, with this current state of YouTube, that's that's gonna be a, a tricky tricky yeah. effort. Yeah, because you know you put in a ton of effort and then may, you only get a thousand views or something like that. It's disappointing because you put in so much effort. Uh, but that's the thing. It's like it's not an effort business. It's an idea business. What do you mean by that? So if you have a, a really good idea, the you're going to get views on on YouTube, uh, even if your execution is kind of lame, like you don't do a, a, an amazing job, you just have an okay, you know, maybe you even filmed it with your iPhone or something, and you'll get you'll get decent uh, video, uh, you'll get a decent response from the market, you know, the audience will respond, uh, but if you have a bad idea or just not even a bad idea just a weak one it's not strong enough you just won't get the views and and I think that's the big thing like this channel beard brand has done really really well on transformation videos because the ideas are big for the market right so the the market that wants to see uh, a barbershop or wants to see haircuts or just want the camaraderie that happens in a barbershop. That, that whatever the reason for watching, they get excited about the big changes. That is, uh, that seems to be our, our, our formula. Um, it's hard to find some of those guys though. We have to try so hard these days. A lot of people have, you know, they get into their groups of haircuts and the guys who don't get haircuts, they don't come to our shop. So it's right. like, we have to go search them out, and and yes, that is seems to be one of the challenges with our channel currently is just trying to figure out what that balance of being true to ourselves of how we actually operate as a shop, as right. a, as, as, a, as a business, as beard brand, but also you know just being considerate of the viewers and and how they enjoy watching the content that we produce because we've produced it all, man. Carlos has been there since day one, and as when I was watching back in the day. It was lovely to see the different shops that they would visit. It was lovely to see um, the different atmospheres. And um, as a barber, that was great for me as a viewer. But you know, other people, are, they're, they want to see those transformations. Right. And then you start doing those, and then it's like, well, people want to learn maybe some technique stuff. So it's just, we, we've been down every, every pathway when it comes to YouTube, and now it seems like the... And that's the challenge, you have to keep to come up with a different idea, but it still aligns with, you know, your core values uh, and what you want to build, the community. Uh, and sometimes that is the tricky part for us, a beer brand. Like this video today should be a lot of fun, being that we're gonna... So, uh, Eric and Carlos told me that you were gonna be sitting in the chair today. And I was excited because I know that you've got this beautiful hair and you had been keeping it a little shorter since you chopped it all off. Yep. And then told me, hey, he's new beard trim. I was like, cool. I had seen you a couple days ago. Your beard's looking thick and looking juicy. I liked it. I was like, oh yeah, we're going to dial it in. It's even more exciting now. We're just going to hack it all off today. Yeah, and see, see what's underneath. All right, man. So a quick little trim around the edges. I knocked out some, some of the hair around the very edges of your, your hairline. Um, thinned out the edges of this so, so gently just because okay. I don't want to start cutting to it. We're still trying to grow it. Yep. We're not trying to completely restyle it. Um, so yeah, just a soft little, soft little trim, quick little trim. Looks healthy, it looks even. Those are all great signs of uh, your journey of growing it out. It's gonna be nice and smooth. Should be, should be fun moving forward. Now I, uh, how should we, how should we chop his beard off? There's only one way, isn't it? You can <laughs> have fun with it, do, do silly, silly stuff first. Well, well my, what about him having some mutton chops first? My, yeah, and, uh, yeah, my wife hates a mustache, so we should have that on film. Okay. All right, <laughs> let's do it. 
It seems it's the odd because a lot of a lot of people hear that uh, <laughs> having <laughs> stupid as song. It's like a YouTube YouTube kid YouTube, YouTube kids kid. video. <laughs> Um, a lot of people, a lot of guys say that their wives hate their beard and stuff, yeah. but mine didn't want me to cut it off. She wants me to keep it You're growing. You're a brave soul, man. Yeah. So. Always do what the wife wants. <laughs> Always. <laughs> She's like, you better grow that before you get back. Take that shit off. <laughs> 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 That's a good length. Yeah. Nice and exactly. Dude, these are like uh, these are like infomercial kind of like. <laughs> you may as well just have your meal. Yeah, uh, oh, jazz. All right, all right. Boom. Style number one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. Is like once it starts getting long, it just starts shooting out in a million directions. But at this, at like this length, it's it's a good. It's too, you can still smooth yeah, it out. Yeah. yeah. I need a, a nice Austin cut for the facial hair, you know? If my hair was, you know, thicker, we could do some designs and stuff. But... Oh, yeah, like that's like number good, two. A good pirate look right there. This is borderline, borderline, uh, Colonel Sanders. Mm, I look like I sell meth. <laughs> you look like an <laughs> undercover cop who thinks he looks like somebody who sells meth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Ethan, is it Ethan walking training day? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, come on, man, we know. That was one of the comments on the video last year was uh, he looks like uh, Ethan Hawke and Jim Carrey had a baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, get, I, I, wonder, I, I wonder what kind of uh, roasting I'm going to get this time. <laughs> That's the other fun part about you too. Everyone has an opinion. <laughs> Good news is you do have a chin. Uh, yeah, well, it looks like I have a chin because there's still <laughs> hair. There's still hair on it. Going for the handlebar mustache? Oh yeah. All right. You said Austin style. Older Austin. Only.
curl them out like Wyatt Earp. Oh yeah. Now we're going for cop look. <laughs> cop who doesn't sell meth. <laughs> Just having fun with this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I'm giving you all the looks that I would totally want to rock. <laughs> now I'll just shave the rest and leave the stash. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's. Yeah. Joke's on you. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. I got you, brother. A little treat before you go back to Europe. Bournemouth. Can you give me a back massage as well while you're <laughs> um, As long as you. As long my back is broke. It's filming the slide thing yesterday and the day before. How's that boy doing? Yeah, it's actually not too bad. I haven't spoken to him today, obviously, but yesterday. He, just, he, he was outside, he just didn't want to see anyone yesterday. Bless him. So easy. Let's see, using a straight razor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've never actually had a full straight razor shave before. Yeah. You really easy to shave, man. It's glided so nicely. Yeah, your skin's nice and taut, the uh, nice and smooth. How's your truck project coming along? Slowly but surely. Yeah. yeah. It looks really good on my driveway, stagnant. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sitting there. Just as long as it's not on blocks. Exactly. It's, it's a couple of moves shy of that, so. I'm trying to find a, a project car. Uh, I'm kind of thinking about importing a, a Toyota Land Cruiser from Australia. Yeah, those are the good ones, man. Yeah, because they have um, 
what they call a troopy, uh, a Land Cruiser troop carrier. So it's a, a, a long wheelbase. And yeah, it's got the it's got the flatbed in the back, kind of right, like almost uh, like toolboxes or something. Well, no, it's uh, it's not a flatbed. It's it's like an SUV, but it's got a bench seating in the back. That's what. Yeah. That's yeah. And and I'd, uh, you know you can import in anything over 25 years old. Correct. So I, I wouldn't mind doing that because I'd, I'd love to have one of those. But I'd also wouldn't mind playing with like a sport, uh, like a sports car, or something really small, maybe like a. Uh, oh no, I, <laughs> like I don't have the money for that. Uh, <laughs> like those are those are way out of my budget. What? The ni uh, nine. You want a project, <laughs> aren't you? Can... <laughs> uh, uh, like a project nine eleven. Uh, uh, you're looking at you know buying somewhere around uh, fifty thousand just to get get it, and then and then all the money you're going to put into it. Yeah. I was thinking something, uh, something easy, but my wife hated the idea, uh, which was like a, a, one of the uh, turbocharged uh, MR2s from like the 80s. Yeah, little mid-engine. Yeah, th like that would, be a, that would be a fun little car. And pretty, and relatively inexpensive. She was like, get something classic. I'll show you 11, my... 964. <laughs> hey, what do you have these days, Carlos? I don't have those anymore. Oh, I sold no. them. <clears throat> it sold that one. I smashed the 993, and I have a 997 Gen 2. Well, I want a truck, but it's hard to find a nice truck in the UK. Let me send you mine. There's a few people uh, that import from here. But, uh, I don't know. At the moment with the baby, I can't really spend money, to be honest. I think of it as a baby moon gift. A push gift, as they yeah, say. Gonna, the baby's going to appreciate more if I put the, the money to you know, look after it. <laughs> I like Land Rovers, but man, the British cars, they just leak every fluid. Yeah, I've had loads of those. I mean, I actually not had many problems. Maybe my first one was a bit, was a diesel one, though. Had a few problems. Like yeah. That. And those have like, uh, go like 10 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the three liter diesel engine on it. That one, yeah, gave me a few, a few expensive problems. But the, the five liter gas one, I was fine. But I only sold it because some guy made me a crazy offer and I, I would have been crazy not to take it. You know, it's the, the old joke, um, if you want to go out into the wilderness, you take a Land Rover. If you want to come back, you take a Land Cruiser. <laughs> they know as bad as that, I don't think, anymore at least. I mean, I don't know. They got the new Jaguar engines in and all that. Yeah, they're still shitty. Huh? They're still shitty. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to own it after that warranty goes out, that's for sure.
My favorite one? Car right there. Man, I, uh... One of my car, I sold my last Beamer and uh, was without a car for a little while. So one of my best buds lent me his Miata. And um, I have no intentions of buying a Miata, but driving a, a small little convertible with my son, who loved it. He loved being in the front seat with me and changing gears and dropping the top. I might consider consider some some type of convertible next. Yeah, I had the the nine eleven nine six four was convertible, but in the UK, spend more time in storage than did outside. So and that's why you need to get uh, like an MR two with the T tops. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Something like with like a target top. Mm. I love the target. Something like a something like a Porsche Spider or something. Uh, it's Boxster, you know. Yeah, you go, okay, and what I didn't, is that? A 2006. What is it? Is it's it a V8 with... Um, is it turbo or just... It's just a V8. No, I didn't want any turbos. I wanted just... Yeah, I wanted to um, avoid any moving, extra moving parts. My next door neighbor has a mint 1980s. I don't, I'm not sure what the year is. Uh, uh, M3, and yeah, it's it's really cool looking. It's a green. Yeah. I uh, I would love an e another E30, but yeah, like I said, I think a convertible bump might be my next my next move. What's up? Yeah, it didn't turn on at the at the at the restaurant right now. <laughs> What car was that? The Cayenne. <laughs> yeah, I uh, it's needed a new starter, and I uh, I got one. I just need to find the time to to throw it in. You going to church after this or what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what that is? Oh, okay. You got you got work at eleven, but tea time is at noon. Back there, that walk that tie, like it's the pasta. Like that's the golfing thing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. First gold fish. Just to remind you that you're alive. That's sharp. Oh yeah. <laughs> it gets better. Is that like witch hazel? Yes, it's got a little bit of uh, alcohol, some menthol, some uh, peppermint oil, some clove, some conditioners. One of my favorite aftershaves of all time. The light is bright. Uh, After having your eyes covered. Oh, I know. The There's no. I have not figured out a better way to do it. You need to get those uh, dentist glasses when you lay back down. So those little. We have those. Uh, we have those 3D glasses from the T-shirts. I get those on. <laughs> No, I uh, I just want to give it a little volume. And since I want to essentially push it forward in a little bit, 
blowing it back will give it that, that punch that I want.